And look at this whole school of Atlantic bumpers coming right over the top of the camera here. So cool. You would never know that there's hundreds of fish down there. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, push that subscribe button. We are underwater here. This is Flagler Beach, just north of the pier. I had a charter that day. I'll put a link up here to the video that has the charter. Uh, that day we were catching mainly whiting. Uh, maybe one small pompano, baby one. And as you can see, there's, there's pompano here. This guy got hooked up right away, went after that sand flea right away and then he shook himself right off i wasn't able to get to the line quick enough and he was off in an instant you've got to be watching your lines but yeah he went right after that sand flea i've been noticing the whiting and the pompano lately have been going after the sand fleas we went through about 45 minutes where there was no action at all watching back at my videos here i saw here's my big mistake so when that sand flea was missing I added a piece of fish bites and I needed to add either a extremely small piece of fish bites or I just needed to leave the fish bites completely off because as you can see, this guy, he pecked around at it. He wasn't able to get his mouth around it. And then he just gave up. And here's our next pompano and he's pecking away at the sand flea. You can see the sand flea's legs are just going crazy. He's still alive on there. His little legs are going, going nuts, but yeah. They're pecking away at that sand flea. So that's what they really want right now. They're, they're going after the sand flea itself. He comes back around. He's kind of looking. And I think by now they're getting a little bit frustrated that they can't get the bait off of, you know, to eat it. And they're just swimming around. You'll see one go past here and he's just gone. We were not catching any pompano except for that one small baby. And I thought for sure, yes, we'll be able to get some whiting in, in the picture but it was all pompano and there he's coming by looking and comes back around again he's just looking looking at that bait and even though i didn't have it set up right and they couldn't get their mouths around it the thing we are learning is that they are interested in it these fish are going to come in and out of the picture here uh, several times they're circling around and they're taking a look at this and i just wanted to talk about this rig that i'm using it's a specialized mortician rig with a 60 pound mono uh, mainline and then i've got 20 pound i believe on the snoods but you can see they're trying to get to this bait and i've got it packed too much on the hooks and i don't like those hooks actually i'm going to be switching out those hooks to more of a circular shaped circle hook those are a little bit more they got strong angles on them and i'm not a big fan of those kind of hooks so i'll be redoing that in a second here you're going to see something really cool right at the beginning of this video you saw all of those atlantic bumpers and we had a whole school of them coming to right right now over the screen and so cool to see all those hundreds of little fish swimming right past the camera had lots of schools of not only these Atlantic bumpers, but Pompano coming through. And you're gonna see that especially here in a little bit. We get a whole bunch of Pompano at once, just checking out the bait and it's so cool. We got a couple of them here and probably some of the same ones coming back through the frame here, back another time. And these last few minutes, I was having a hard time keeping the sinker to stay put so that we could see everything clearly and we'll see the tops of their fins and things like that because I just could not get it to stay. I couldn't get the line to stay tight. And when there's not tension on the line, you're just, all you're gonna see is the sky. Here they come again and see them in the background there. They're, they're still hanging around. And they're coming back to look at this bait, try to peck at it and get to it. There's one, he's just, he's just hanging around wondering, hmm, and, and then he takes off. So here I've pulled it in, smiling at the camera, and I'm throwing it back in the water. And this water was pretty clear for Flagler Beach. We usually do not have water quite this clear, so I was happy to be able to record 
and get this much action. And here we'll see some Pompano coming into the screen, three of them here. And we'll see some on the left of the screen over here, playing around, then to the right, passing by the screen, kind of taking a peek and moving on. But they're hanging around. They keep coming back. They're pecking at that sand flea on the back there. And this next one I had to slow down because he's still following after that little bait. You can see him, watch him as he's chasing it. And check out this pompano. I'm going to slow this down. He's going to come and look at the spots on this guy. I think it's so cool. There's some really cool looking fish out there. And uh, you will see the same pompano come back because you'll be able to tell that it's him because of the spots on his side. Now my camera is pointing up. It's kind of hard to see some of these fish because we're not getting the whole picture here. And hopefully I can get that issue figured out. Pompano swimming right over the camera. There's the one with the spots again. And now I'm going to reel this in and throw it back out. And I really only have a couple of minutes left before we actually have to pack it up and leave for the day. But here we've thrown it back in the water. And I was really surprised watching this back how quickly those fish come right around that bait. So here we go. He's circling around looking. All of his buddies come in and they are pecking away at that bait. I'm going to slow that down for you. If you take a look here, here he comes, kind of looking, coming back around, and here comes all of his friends. Now they're biting, if you notice there, they're, they're hitting the, um, the fish bite, that's sand flea fish bites, and then he's going after the sand flea. So I thought that was interesting that they were more interested this time around, maybe an hour or so later than earlier, they were more interested in the fish bite. So and that just goes to show you, you don't have to have live bait all the time. You know, throw a piece of fish bites on your rod. I usually do that when I'm first coming out to the beach for the day. I'll throw a piece of fish bites on and uh, see what's biting while I'm getting my other rigs set up and getting things going. Thank you so much for watching. If you love this underwater footage and you want to keep seeing more of it, let me know in the comments below. But as always, tight lines, God bless, and we'll see ya.